They're saying, where's my baby? Somebody's close. We're going to find him. So this is a pasture that's just on its first, first growth of the, of the season. Um, so we got a little foxtail in here and kind of the first seed head showing, but th these cows have been turned out in here for about two weeks. And so all of the cattle in this pasture were just recently purchased um, from Montana. They came from Sitz Angus. And they came here and they were in the, the feedlot pens for the, for the winter for just a couple months. I think they came here in February. As soon as they got here, they started having baby calves. And so all these baby calves have just been born in the last couple of months. And then when the grass got good enough, we just turned them out. Um, but these, these are purebred Angus cattle from Sitz that will be kind of the genetic base for our purebred herd to replace um, some of the older cows there. Some of them are first calf heifers um, that, that came and were bought that way, and some of them are older cows that have a little age on them. Um, just depends. Um, but they're coming, kind of making some noise and making sure they know where their baby is because we're, we're out here in the pen, and my dog's kind of running around, so they're kind of wondering what's going on. Dog, hey, get out. Hey, come here. Get out of there. Dog's a little puppy. She doesn't know what she's doing, but mo mother cows are a little protective of their babies. Um, that dog can run around up at my house through all the calves and cows and everything, and they don't care because they're familiar with the dog. Uh, these ones down here don't see the dog every day, so they're a little more concerned. But uh, anyway, this herd of cows will just run in these pastures all summer. There's um, several of them. They're, they're in one pasture here, and then they can be rotated. And um, we farm the grass just kind of like a, an alfalfa crop or something like this. We'll let the grass grow up to a pretty good height and then have the cattle back on the grass about once every 28 days or about once a, one week out of every month. So if they're here for a week and there for a week, and so if they have four pastures to rotate to, if we have our carrying capacity about right, they'll be back on this grass in about a month and it'll be growing up and ready to graze again. And so um, by doing that, it keeps the grass healthy and it always keeps the cattle where they're not have to forage really hard to find good grass because it, they're always on something fresh and something good. And so um, well taken care of. So out here you can see desert to the side of us and desert to either side, but there's a little sliver of our valley that runs about 11 miles long here and it has a big spring and the spring uh, allows us to irrigate all these meadows. And so a lot of the, the grass species have been improved, but the, the natural meadow has been here for years and years because of just the natural water that's in the valley. So lots of Nevada is very dry and the population is always where there's a little bit of water. <laughs> and so that's kind of how our, our ranch is here. A lot, a lot of our cows will go out in the desert country and they'll raise their cows, their calves out in the desert country and they do just fine out there too. These younger cattle and the purebred cattle we keep closer to home and um, they get a little better feed this way.